a report from the dog that is owned by my internet son, PFT Commenter. Chris, I don't know how much you follow this, but Leroy Insider, the dog yeah. owned by PFT Commenter, from time to time breaks news on Twitter. Now, I, I will say this. Leroy is not batting a thousand. So I, I'm always a little bit nervous. I'm always no. a little bit nervous when I when I see something Leroy reports, like the Bears are having dinner with Eli Manning. Uh, that was one that was uh, that was posted by Leroy a few weeks back. But but this one caught my attention because it's not implausible. Leroy Insider tweeted last night that uh, there are rumors that Rob Gronkowski is going to come out of retirement and join Tom Brady with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Now, for starters. That can't happen without the Patriots' approval because he's on the Patriots' reserve retired list. They'd have to trade him or they'd have to cut him before he could become a Buccaneer. But but assuming they could work out the transactional side of it, could you see Rob Gronkowski choosing to come back and play football with Tom Brady in Tampa? I could, I could see him thinking about it for sure. I, you know, again, you know, all right, two things that jump out to me here. You know, one, just watching, what was that, WrestleMania two weeks ago or just seeing little snippets of it, or maybe that was Sunday. I can't even remember now. The days are running together. He does look like he's put on a little bit more weight, like he's been lifting weights a little lately. So that, you know, I know he's probably doing it for the the WrestleMania show, but nonetheless might have got him in the mode a little bit to be like, oh, man, I missed working out. This feels good. Okay, I feel pretty good. And, of course, training for that event in itself, maybe, you know, could have ignited his fire a little bit. And then also, hey, listen, just like Brady kind of being worn out by the New England way, I, I wouldn't be shocked if that's what happened to the Gronk a little too, where it just is, you know, the grind of New England caught up to him, let alone the physical toll. And he loves Brady. We know that. And, you know, they have good tight ends in Tampa. They can make a trade happen if they want it. It's interesting. Nonetheless, I don't think it's crazy. Yeah, you could send O.J. Howard or Cameron Brait to the Patriots for the rights to Rob Gronkowski. It's that simple if Gronk wants to do it. And let's also be realistic about it because you and I were quick to call BS on the idea that the Buccaneers didn't talk to Tom Brady prior to the opportunity for them legally to do so under NFL rules. Surely they were talking to Brady. And would it shock anyone to know whether or not uh, – Bruce Arians, the coach of the Buccaneers, has maybe had some conversations with Gronk, right? And that wouldn't surprise me either. And for Gronk, Bruce Arians is the perfect coach. Gronk had gotten worn out by Bill Belichick. Here comes Bruce Arians with a drink in one hand, and he's dropping F-bombs, and he's got the <laughs> Kangol hat on. This guy's cool in the eyes of Rob Gronkowski. This is the kind of guy that Gronk would come out of retirement for, especially if it puts him back together with his good buddy Tom Brady. I mean, it makes a ton of sense on the surface, and if they could work out this transaction, if there's a way to make that deal happen, I, it, it would not shock me. We spent so much time last year speculating on whether or not Gronk would unretire and play with Brady with the Patriots. Obviously, he ultimately didn't. I think now we're going to be on this idea of whether or not there's going to be a path for Gronk back to Brady, to Tampa, out of New England. It'd be fascinating if it happens. Yeah, it would be fascinating. And, you know, like, I mean, I think we made a lot of good points to why it, it, it you know, is not totally out of left field. I think there's a lot of things that match up that you go, huh, that's a positive. I can see that happening. And you're right. You know, Arians, I, I just think Arians would be a welcome refreshment to guys like Gronk and Brady. And Brady, Brady will probably be able to even help sell it like that to Gronk if he is thinking about it. Uh, but be interesting. Certainly something to keep an eye on here because, hey, we do know this too. The Patriots have a need at the tight end position. And of course, you know, there's nobody that knows how to use the tight end as good as New England, so they might see value in just letting him go and get getting a younger prospect like a Brader or O.J. Howard. Who do you want if you're Bill Belichick, Cameron Brader or O.J. Howard? Yeah, that's a really tough one. I mean, Braid is a little bit more consistent. O.J. Howard is, you know, a physical freak in a lot of ways and has some top-end talent, but just has not played to the level that, of course, the first-round draft pick, which we would expect. You know, I think Cameron Brate's a little bit more of a sure thing right now and a little bit better of an all-around football player. Uh, yeah, I think, it would, I think I would probably favor Brate uh, in a close one. 
Yeah, Brait uh, is a guy who emerged and was having some good seasons before Howard came along. He had 680 receiving yards in 2016 and eight touchdowns. Then Howard came along in 2017. As a rookie, Howard had 432, and Brait that year had 591. But Howard has been more productive the past two years, and last year it was 459 receiving yards for Howard, only 311 for Brait, but Brait is a guy they recently redid a contract with, may have extended him more years into the future. He's been around for a while. He's still only 28, though he turns 29 on July the 3rd. O.J. Howard, I look at it this way. He played at Alabama for Nick Saban. Bill Belichick would be able to pick up the phone and find out exactly what make makes O.J. Howard tick in one conversation with Nick Saban. So before Belichick makes his final decision, that conversation is going to occur and uh, we'll know. Based upon which guy he wants, we'll know how that conversation goes with Nick Saban. If it goes well, it'll be Howard. If it doesn't, it'll be Cameron Brait, uh, the Harvard guy who will be coming back to the Boston area if that's the deal that ultimately occurs. But it's not outlandish. It's not ridiculous. It's one of those things that it makes so much sense. It may make too much sense, and it won't yeah. happen for that reason. Right. No, I, I, I'm there with you. You're right. And uh, you're right about the O.J. Howard point. It's a great point by you. I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if Belichick's probably already had that conversation with Nick Saban a few years back and really knows what O.J. Howard is. But, yeah, something to keep an eye on here during the offseason. There was some chatter last year about O.J. Howard maybe being available. Would it shock right. you to know, if this were the truth, that before the second-round pick got sent to the Falcons for Mohamed Sanu, that maybe they called the – Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Jason Light, former Patriots employee, easy pipeline there. Hey, Jason, are you willing to part ways with O.J. Howard? So maybe they've already sniffed around the possibility, Chris. Yeah, no, I think that's real, too. I think there's a lot of teams that probably sniffed around O.J. Howard last year. You're right. That was a very real rumor going around the NFL. Tampa being a little disappointed with what they got out of O.J. Howard the first few years of his career. So, yeah, I, I, I'm with you, Mike. I, I think there's a, a lot of dots to connect here that make a lot of sense. That topic, by the way, sparked by a question on Twitter from at Poundtown10 who wanted to know whether or not it was realistic, as Leroy Insider reported that maybe Rob Gronkowski could be bound for the Buccaneers. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.